So here we've got the Chinese diesel heater on a Mars soft floor camper. Um, real easy install. I've got a queen mattress in there. I replaced the other one with another one. So we've got a hole here with a hole saw to get the um, port in and also the controls for the main control box up there too. Um, excuse the wiring it's it's gonna be all tucked in a junction box and be neat there we place the diesel tank on the front toolbox um, I changed most it comes with a lot of um, tech screws so I've changed a lot of it to just um, nuts and bolts um, and you've got it running down into a fuel filter um, into the fuel pump and then into the um, main diesel heater and to stop any dust I've just um, cut cut a piece of foam that came with just through the packing and just in the front there to stop any dust going in the tent when we're traveling I'm yet to test this out but there wasn't much exhaust fumes when I've ran this with the little exhaust but I've also added to it and ran it out the other side but I'm um, still yet to test that. I'm hoping from that side you'd have more air blowing around and there'd be less fumes going up into the tent but not that there was that much fumes going in the tent anyway. With this setup it still lets me lift the lid um, and gives me full access of the trailer. The actual install process for this was pretty easy. I had it done. I'd done a couple of hours of each afternoon after work probably four hours total to get the whole thing in, bolt it up, give it a test run. Um, so you gotta, cutting through the metal was probably the hardest bit for me, but if you can't through wood on a caravan or um, aluminium, it would be a lot easier, this is steel. Um, I burnt out the whole saws that I had and I ended up cutting it out with a Dremel. Um, yeah, so it probably took me about four hours all up. <laughs> to install it. Um, it draws a bit of power on the initial heat up. After that, it drops away to practically oh, between one amp and half an amp. So, um, yeah, so they're bloody efficient and drinks nearly no diesel. So, yeah, that's good too. Um, how they work is um, it gets air blowing over the heater unit and then it goes up in this pipe here blows out into the tent so in theory there should not be any actual carbon monoxide fumes coming into the tent only what gets exhausted through the exhaust pipe down below and then out to the other side of the tent which is my concern of it coming in being um, canvas but um, yeah like I said earlier there was hardly any fumes when this was going uh, next to nothing so it's not really a concern i'm going to get a carbon monoxide um, sensor and we'll see if there is any inside the tent